Disney Springs continue to expand with the town center being constructed in 1920 and popular Mediterranean architectural elements, including stucco, terracotta, can be found throughout the area. The area grew, so did the businesses and the commerce, and the farmer's market was created where Polite Pig is. A bottling company was opened at what is now Moro Asia, and an ice business was established where guests can now find sprinkles. Hi guys, your girl Yammy's here, and I am at Disney Springs. Today is my second episode of the um, Disney Springs series that I've started, and today we're going to focus in on Town Center, and that would be Planet Hollywood and the Coca-Cola store towards the Polite Pig. Um, we are next to the AMC Theater. Right by the MCA Theater, there's the characters in Flight Balloon, Planet Hollywood, and the Coca-Cola store. And Town Center's in there. So today, like I said, we're going to focus in on the town center. And did you know Disney Springs is one of the most popular destinations at Walt Disney World? For shopping, dining, entertainment, and more. Of course, we all know that, right? And, um, but it's rich in backstories that are fictional and factual. With many different versions over the years and a current immersive theme rich in detail. The, 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 got tongue twisted on that one. Disney Springs has an interesting story that many guests might be unaware of. So if you didn't know there's a backstory to everything here at Disney, why they planted something, where they planted it, you know, there's a reason for everything that they do at Disney. And I think the stories are fascinating and wonderful. So I figured I would bring some to you. I mean, last week we talked about how Disney Springs came about from the 1800s. Um, that's the backstory on it. But the Disney, engine, uh, the Disney Imagineers are responsible for creating these stories and designing the areas to represent the story to the fullest extent possible. What's great about Disney storytelling is that the Imagineers don't have to come right out and explain the story to guests. They're so good at their job that they can immerse us in the story and make us feel what they want us to feel without even telling us we're going we're doing it. If you are a Disney fan like me, you probably like to know everything you can about Disney. Knowing all the nitty gritty details about every story is fun. Disney guests can find popular locations like Sprinkles, um, the Disney Welcome Center, and more. A business, as business began to show growth, it became apparent that the transportation hub would necessarily, would be necessary to help the growth and the town deliveries. I will get into the transportation on another video. We're not going to bring it in on this one, it will come on to another one. Disney Springs at Walt Disney World Resort is visited by thousands of guests each day, but many are completely unaware of the incredible backstory that has been crafted by the Imagineers. It's definitely worth taking the time on any visit to slow down, check out the unique architects and theming of each area, as well as the small historical details that can be found in each establishment. Okay, we're going to start here at Planet Hollywood and we're going to go down here to the Polite, Polite Pigs here. So we're going to go to here, these stores. Boy, that's a lot of stores. Okay, we can do it. Alright, so today we're going to start at Planet Hollywood and the Coca-Cola store. 
I did park in the orange garage because it was closer to town center, but you can also park in the lime garage and because town center ends at the lime garage. So we could have parked either or, but I just went ahead and parked in the orange today. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go into the Coca-Cola store. And did you know there's a bar at the top? Let's go check it out. And they do have a Disney World Coca-Cola collab section over here with some shirts and sweatshirts. Look at the back of this sweatshirt. And then t-shirts. Looks like you can get magnets, bucket hats. Oh, and they got pins. Look at this pop figure. It's a Coca-Cola pop figure. And they have bucket hats that are reversible. Got little change purses here, um, eyeglass cases, some weird sh little mugs not worth drinking out of, magnets, bags, hats, all kinds of stuff. And if you get here at a lucky right time, you can meet a polar bear. And they carry spirit jerseys here too. They even have a clearance area too and loud music. All right, we are on the third floor now and this is where the bar is located. And you have breathtaking views from here. Do you guys wanna see the view first or the bar? Let's go with the view. First off, here we are. I like this view. And you can enjoy a float up here. And then I believe they do have, they do have other things that you can get. They have, um, they have mocktails, souvenir cups, drinks of the month. Um, they've got floats, got coffee and water. You can also get a pretzel here, get some slushies, or you can enjoy a bottle of Coke. Mm, beautiful view. And they do have the Coke freestyle machines here. Beautiful view. All right, we just left the Coca-Cola store there. Planet Hollywood's there. But behind the Coca-Cola store, you'll find a set of bathrooms here. So if you have to use the bathroom, it's right by the Coca-Cola store. But over here at Planet Hollywood, attached to it is Chicken Guy. And that's Guy, Guy Freddy's restaurant there. Um, and it's Chicken Fingers. All right, so that was the Chicken Guy. Across from Chicken Guy is Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill. And that is a reservation type sit down restaurant. Um, we went there once, we reviewed it. We didn't have a good time or good food when we went, but it could have changed in the last three years, you never know. But give it a try and let me know what you think. Or if you've had them before, what do you think of them? It's Wolfgang Puck. Now we're gonna head into the market building. Up at the top, it says 1913 market building. So this was built in, quote unquote, 1913. And there are stores in here and we'll go check out the stores. First store we come to is Columbia Sports Wear Company. And they have a lot of jackets, shirts, t-shirts, um, jackets mostly in here. 
I won't be going into all the stores, so Columbia, we know that they're jackets. Next store is Sugar Boo and Company. That's a different store. I'll go inside that one. All right, so this is Sugar Boo. It's a lot of um, decor. That's what I, I think that's the best way to put it. But they have signs and pictures and decor stuff, candles, notebooks, cards. So there's a little bit of everything in here. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find some jewelry and they do have kids books and toys. And look at the dollhouse. All right, I found the case that has jewelry in it. So yeah, it's got pretty much everything in it. There are even some clothing pieces in here. But look at, they have essential oils and they have stones that are supposed to be raw crystals, some quartz, serenity stones. Oh, look at, they even have chocolate and popcorn and teas. So Sugar Boo has a little bit of everything. It's a fun little store, so you might like it. Rothy's is next door, and of course, okay. of course, they have shoes and bags in there. So we're not going to go in there, and then there's Vera Bradley next door. That one we'll go into and see what the new Disney print looks like. So if you love Vera Bradley, then you definitely have to stop in here because they carry the Mickey Mouse Disney print. So let's go check and see what the new print looks like. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, this is 30% off everything and this is the Pixar collection. So if you like Pixar, there's a lot on here. Toy Story. It's just Toy Story. Okay, let's start over. Here's the new print. It is Toy Story. If you like Toy Story and you like Vera Bradley, this is definitely your collection. And look at, you can even get socks. Oh, and they're soft too. How adorable is that? Oh, no, thank you. All right, this is definitely supposed to be for me. Look at the flower on there. I gotta look for more now. They still have a um, little mermaid collection here. And then we got a green one over here that has Goguru on it. They even have the Bambi blanket with Bambi and flower on it. It's an orange color one. Next door to Vera Bradley is Sperry's and these are shoes. And then after that would be Lily Pelzer, which they have a Disney print too now. But their clothing is always so bright and pretty and the colors. I just always love their clothes. So we're going to go over to the other side here. And we have a Lululemon. Um, I've never been in a Lululemon. So maybe we'll go inside there and check that out. But next door is American Threads, which just sounds really expensive. So um, we'll pass on that store. So obviously they have yoga workout clothing here, but I bet they've got some sweatpants and they've got sweatshirts, um, bras it looks like, um, sweatshirts. Oh, they even have shoes. Hmm, did not know that. Shorts. Let's go ahead and check over here. Oh, you got socks and shoes. And then they have men's clothing over on this side. And then they have backpacks and fanny packs and other bags. And fitting room. So there are um, men's stuff in here. That I did not know. Alright, so little lemon surprised me. I did not know there was men's clothing. But this here is the Fit to Run store. And they have tennis shoes and workout outfits. So we know what's in here. And then, let me see, next door is Johnson & Murphy. 
since 1850. Now that just sounds expensive too. Anything that that's old, that, that is that old, is going to be expensive. And it's men's clothing by the looks of it. Let's see here. Yeah, they have shoes and clothing for men. Ba oh, men's shirts. Buy two you or more and save 20%. The shirts are probably $80 a piece, but hey, you can save 20%. Yeah, they have they have uppity stores here. Okay, last but not least is Tommy Bahama. We know what's in here. They do have a Disney um, pattern too in here, but when you come in from there's Chicken Guys right there. Tommy Bahama is going to be the first store on your left, where Columbia was on your right. There's Columbia House. Columbia. Why do I want to call it Columbia House? All right, so it's across from the Columbia store. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away
Gotta stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long. All right, just came out of stands. Next door is Super Dry, which is a clothing store. But we're gonna go into this one called Love Pop. Kind of hard to see through the window, but there's a big giant bear that says I love you very much. Um, but it's a, they sell cards that pop. I'll show you what I mean. Here we go. So this one right here, this card, when you open it up, this pops up. So you get a little cute little pop-up, but they do have Disney. They have Valentine's Day. So any kind of card you're looking for, they're going to carry here. Just a plain I love you card. Um, fatally yours. Oh, that one looks a little scary. So, and look at the big bouquet of flowers right there. Tulips. And then you have some, there's the Disney. Then they have happy birthday. So they bring out, oh, they got all kinds of flowers. Look at this one. That one's adorable. <laughs> that one there. That would be for Boo. And they have Disney flower bouquets over here. You got the Death Star, Haunted Mansion, Jack Skeleton, Minnie Mouse, Alice, Mickey, and Up. Ron John Surf, Surf Shop is next door to the Love Pop. And then Polite Pig is there. If you turn down that aisle, you'll get to the Lime Garage. We have a store here called, I think it's pronounced Uniglow. It's a clothing store. And this is an Under Armour clothing store. And we're gonna head on this way to a couple more stores. We're on the opposite side. We came down this way, and then I just turned around and I'm going back down this way. All right, this store is the Fabletic store. And um, I see the mannequins. They have plus size mannequins in there. So they sell clothes for plus size. That is really cool. And the leggings are two for twenty-four dollars. That's not too bad. I might have to go take a look. No, I can't today. Not today. All right, we're gonna go over here. This is Kendra Scott. I'm not sure what's in this store. Oh, it looks like jewelry. So, and then next to it is Uno de Fifty which is another jewelry st um, store. Um, so if you want jewelry, you know where to go. And after that one is Ever After Jewelry and Accessory. This is a Disney store. So we're gonna go in there and check out the bags and, ooh, the Doonies and jewelry. Okay, I don't know who Chip and Dale is kissing, but they're kissing somebody with their eyes closed. But this is the Valentine's Day collection. Not 100% sure of the collection. I mean, Disney dogs or Disney pets? Maybe Disney pets. Because there's some cats on there. Some dogs. Pluto. Yeah, dogs and cats, looks like. They have some cute jewelry in here. Some Disney, some not Disney. That is a locket. It looks like it opens up. All right, 
we got more Disney Dooney over here. And this is one of the newer collections. Very cute. All right, new collection. This is a Frozen collection. And it's adorable. This backpack here goes for $2.98. This is the Disney 100 collection and it is 50% off right now. If you're a pass holder, that's 50% off and then additional 20%. Oh. All right, this store, I believe it's pronounced Anthropology. Um, another clothing store. And we are right across from Sephora right now. And So down there is where the market building is. And we came all the way down here, came back around. But now we're over here in the center. That's where the buses come in and out of that. And over here we've got some more springs. But we also have the Welcome Center. At the Welcome Center you can ask questions if you're not sure about something. But there is a separate building, a separate store that is for the ticket center. So if you need tickets, you'd go to a different location than to come here. This is just questions. Um, I'm not sure if you can get your DAS here. Um, anything that you can do in the park, you can do here. If you're having a problem with your passes, they can help you here. Behind Zara's and next to the Welcome Center is Deluxe Burger. And they have a set menu, but then every month they have like um, a special burger that comes out. So this is just the regular menu. And they've got seating inside and they have it outside too. Here is the burger right now is the French onion soup burger. $13.99. That actually looks really good. But I'm not going for a burger today. I'm going somewhere else. So then next to Deluxe Burger, Deluxe Burger's here. We're gonna head down this way and there's a ticket center. That's where you would go if you need to get tickets. So as I said, the ticket center, you can come in here and purchase tickets. They will help you get reservations. They'll do all that stuff for you. But right next door is the Orange County Sheriff's Office. So there's an office for the sheriffs. And then there's Blaze Pizza. That's where I'm going for lunch, this is Blaze. This is Blaze Pizza. And um, I think it's 90 seconds and your pizza's cooked. So we're gonna go have lunch here. You can pick certain pizzas that are already made or you can do build your own, which that's what I'm going to do is build my own pizza. You can blaze your own pizza for $11.95 and that's where you can put whatever toppings you want on it. Well, this cuts off the, the spring here cuts off the town center to the landing that's the landing over on that side so that's going to be on the next video will be the landing and that's going to be homecoming and over but if you look right on the back of homecoming here they have a florida ranchers because remember this used to be ranchers here serving florida for over six generations it says But the springs is just so beautiful. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Um, it's something new that I'm doing and I really enjoy doing this and giving you more information and um, kind of give you the way of the land, you know, so you know what you're doing when you come here. So our next one will be the landing that we will do, and that will come out next week. This week, on Thursday, my Patreons will get to see this. You guys will see this on Friday, unless you're a patron. 
If you want to become a patron, you can join us at patreon.com slash yammy. And it's as low as $5.